<laughs> Sorry, I was running. What's up, too? Um, I am actually coming and making posting this video because I am talking. I was messaging. Let me see if I can get your name right. Tiana F Baby. I hope it's Tiana or it looks like Tiana. I hope I'm saying it right. If not, I apologize. Um, I'm actually posting this video because of you and in case anybody else have any questions. Um, one of the questions were, what did I use? I used Lidocaine. Came in a tube about this big. And I paid money for it because I didn't realize that the money here converted to something else. So over there in UK it said something about like 13 bucks. And that is actually like 27 bucks and change here in the US. So I don't know if you want to spend that much on a tube that's about this big, but it really does work. Um, again, the name of the cream was Lidocaine. It was like 5%. What it does is just numbs the area. I applied that um, an hour before I went into the shop. And then I freaked out once I got there. And I plot some more. Um, let's see. Let's see. What was another question? Um, you can actually find some online. Again, I I I um I found it on eBay. Um, some tattoo shops they actually some tattoo shops actually offer it. Uh, might you might have heard of um, Dr. Numb? You might be able to find that. You can also look on eBay for it. Again, um, it really just depends on the shop that you're going to and if they offer it. Um, I don't know if a uh, Walmart or Target have it. I think at the moment that I was looking for, it, that was not even one of the places that went through my mind. You might be able to find it there. Um, but then again, I think sometimes you have to have like a prescription for it. I don't know. Um, does it get in the way during or does it ever get annoying? For me, no, it doesn't get annoying. Um, does it get in the way? Sometimes it does. And that's kind of, it, it just depends on what it is that you're doing. Um, you know, for you, you might like it for others like me it can get in the way i normally like during sex i normally have to take mines out so that's how that works and um depending on what you actually like you can actually go up a size to increase sensitivity or you know something like that for me i've been going up so i got pierced with the 14 gauge i'm now at a 12 and i plan on going to a 10. um and another place that you can actually check out i want to make sure i'm spelling this out right to you um it's a website and they talk about um tattoos and piercings of all kinds and you have different people on there aside from myself that um they can probably answer some questions and you can see pictures of them you got you can um post pictures of yours i actually have one up there of mine if you look it up under i think it's flirt flirt triple seven you you can see a picture of mine on there um it's actually called um tribalectic it's not even on here tribalectic um I to make sure that I'm spelling this out right to y'all. Sorry that I'm kind of all over the place. That is www.tribal. Yep, that's it. www.tribal. E C T I C dot com. And you can actually set up, you can set up there, you know, create you a password and username and just, you know, give advice and everything about any piercings or what you look for there. And hopefully that, that's helpful. Any more questions? Again, my process is that I just simply went to the tattoo shop. Um, I told him what it was that I was looking for. He said, let me get set up. I got in, he, I sat in the chair. 
he came back and said, I need you to take out one leg, and that's all. Took out that one leg, pulled out my underwear, and he looked. I didn't, some, for some people, they see the mark and they see where they want to put it. I didn't, I completely trusted this guy because he's done all of my tattoos and, you know, he did my tongue ring too, so. So, pretty much, I trust this guy. Um, and he put the tube under my hood, and before I knew it, he was pushing the needle through. That part did feel a little funny for me, but it wasn't, it wasn't pain that I felt. It was more of pressure, and it felt really, really weird. So, um, I don't know, that's about it. By that time, you know, he was already putting the, the ring in, so. And it's actually, it's almost a year that I've had it. So, that's going to be a collection. I have my, this little thing here. My trach is piercing. I got this done at the mall. They say don't use a gun because you can get infected like that. But at the time that I got it, I didn't know that. So, I have this one. I have the three holes in my ear. I have these three. I have a tongue, navel, and a clip piercing. So, my next one is probably a nipple. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Alright, everybody. Y'all have any more questions about the piercing or you know anything you would like to know about it? I'll be happy to let you guys know anything that I know if I could be of help. Deuces. I'll see y'all later.